statements the member from Renfrew and St. Pembroke. Thank you very much, Speaker. <clears throat> Today, I would like to begin with a quote from Kofi Annan, former Secretary General of the United Nations. A genocide begins with the killing of one person, not because of what he has done, but because of who he is. As we begin the National Haldemar Awareness Week, I rise to remember the victims of the terrible famine in Ukraine, in which millions of people were starved to death in 1932-33. Haldemar means murder by starvation. This intentional and targeted genocide of the Ukrainian people which took the lives of an estimated 2.5 to 7.5 million people, many of whom were children, was perpetrated by the communist dictator Joseph Stalin to punish Ukrainians for resisting Soviet rule. Soviet authorities confiscated all food grown by the Ukrainian farmers. Although the harvest was rich, the Ukrainian people were forbidden to touch it. Anyone, including children, caught taking even a stock could be executed. Special brigade, brigade, brigades searched homes and forcibly took all food from Ukrainian people, ensuring a mass famine would ensue. While millions were dying of starvation, the Soviets took the wheat, to, took the, wheat the Ukrainians had produced and sold it abroad. This genocidal famine was denied, ignored, and covered up throughout the 20th century. Today, the Russian government continues to deny that the Holodomor was a genocide. In the days ahead, many events will be held across Canada to, commem to commemorate the Holodomor. I will be honoured to attend one such commem commemoration this Saturday in Mississauga, organized by the Ukrainian-Canadian Congress, together with PC leader Patrick Brown. By commemorating the victims of the Holodomor, we remind Ontarians that we share a responsibility to ensure that similar atrocities never happen again. This week, I join all Ontarians, particularly Ontarians and Canadians of Ukrainian origin, in solemnly marking the anniversary of this crime against humanity. Thank you. Thank you.